Hey what's up YouTube, it's Chickens here bringing you guys a quick Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity video. So in this video I'll be going over the fastest way to farm rupees in the demo slash chapter 1. So to start off I'll go over some of the uses for rupees. So the first one is buying from the regular market, just buying items. And then these items I'm pretty sure can be used for either side quests later on or cooking. And then you also can use rupees for fusing your weapons together for the blacksmith. So that's pretty expensive, you might need a lot for those. And lastly, I also heard from people who got the game early that you can also use rupees for leveling up your characters. So instead of spending all that time to try to grind your characters up to the max level, you can instead just spend rupees instead. But I'm pretty sure it does only go up to your highest level characters. So my highest level is 20, so I'll probably get all my characters unlocked to level 20 right away. So that's why I'm trying to farm as many rupees as possible before the entire game comes out. And I recommend you try to do the same thing as well if you have the extra time. It'll help a lot in cutting down the grind later on in the game so you can just play the game and enjoy instead of having to repeat missions and all that stuff just to level up your characters. But moving on from there, there are several ways you can get rupees in this game. The first way, which is the best way, is to grind out all the missions and side quests. So for the big missions like the Battle of Hyrule Field and the Road to the Ancient Lab, you'll get a max of 700 rupees. You'll get 300 for the stage bonus, 200 for completing it a certain amount of time, and then 200 for getting a certain amount of KOs. And the difficulty does not matter at all in increasing your rupee count, so I recommend just playing on easy if you want to do this as fast as you can, just blowing by through the entire missions. But instead of playing the main missions for rupees, it's actually way more efficient to farm the side quests instead. That's because the missions take a lot longer. The Battle of Hyrule Field takes around 6 minutes and the Ancient Lab takes around like 9 to 10. But the side quests give you 600 rupees, they take around 1 to 2 minutes, and they're really easy to 100% get all 600 through the one playthrough. So there are three side levels you can do during chapter 1. The one I recommend to never do is the Zolfos Infestation, just because this one takes around 2 to 3 minutes and just takes a lot longer than the other two. You could also do Explosive Handle with Care, but this one is like 20 to 30 seconds slower than the best one, which is Mastering Remote Bombs. So now I'll just hop right into the level here. I'll show you guys how I beat this level as fast as I can. Once again, make sure you're playing on easy mode to make this as fast as possible. And then once you get really good at this level and master it, you'll probably be able to do this around 50 seconds to a minute 20. So the first thing you have to do is just defeat a hundred Pacoblins. They're all just going to be in this field here pretty close to each other. So all you have to do here is remember to use your combos. I usually just play as Link for this because it's probably easiest for me. But I just mainly use my 3Ys and the X combo just to get as many hits as I can in as wide an area as I can. But after you defeat your 100th Bacoblin, you're going to want to run straight to this door right here, and it's going to open up. And then here's just going to be your basic take over the outpost objective. So again, just make sure to use your combos here, and then when you get the health bar of the objective point down below 2 thirds, I believe there's going to be a big Bacoblin that's going to spawn here. And then you need to use the bomb room to break his shield, and then after that you just combo him and pretty much take down his shield to get the weak point smash on him. But you want to make sure here that you do not use your special attack just yet. We're going to save this for the very end because after you get this outpost, there's going to be a fire whiz robe you have to defeat to end the mission off. So all you have to do is run up to this fire whiz robe, don't get stuck on this rock like I did, and then just use your special attack on it. So usually this is pretty easy, but I just kind of got stuck on the rock so I got hit by him once. But after you use your special attack, it should knock him out in one hit and you'll complete the mission. And as you can see here, I was able to complete this in a minute, 5 seconds. I probably could have got under a minute if I didn't get stuck on that rock, but it's whatever. But the lowest I ever got on here was around like 50 seconds, and the highest I usually get if I mess up a lot is like around 120. So this is a really fast way to get the rupees. You get like 600 every minute to 2 minutes. But the one thing that does hammer this a bit is the loading screen, because it does kick you out after you complete each one of these missions. And like the loading screen takes around like, I'd say 40 to 50 seconds to hop back into the mission. But even with that load time, this is the fastest way to currently get rupees during chapter 1. So you'll be able to get 600 rupees every 2 minutes, which equates around 18,000 per hour, I believe. And you can even add to that as you're probably going to get around 2-3 to three weapon drops as well as some material drops. And then if you sell all of these to the blacksmith and to the shops, you'll probably get around an extra 100-150 rupees. But for me personally, I just decided to keep all of the items I get just because I'm not sure if I'd be able to use them in the full game. And I also try to fuse my weapons to get them higher level because I'm pretty sure the weapon level cap is going to be a little bit higher when the full game does come out. But you can choose to do what you want with them. If you're strictly trying to go after rupees, you probably just sell everything you get. But that is my method for farming rupees in Chapter 1, which I'm pretty sure is the fastest so far. Again, this is just the demo version of the game in Chapter 1, so it'll probably be better methods in the future when the entire game does come out. But I just decided to make this video for those of you who are grinding as much as you can before the full game does come out. So if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please make sure to leave a like. And also make sure to subscribe if you want to see more future Age of Calamity videos. But other than that guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.